removing the wing rib from the wing rib jig after waiting 24 hours for the glue to cure properly remove the wing rib from the wing rib jig by removing the screws from the clamping and alignment plates using a small jeweler screwdriver and not an electric screwdriver and you have to remove all the clamping plates in the same way now that you have remo removed all the clamping plates you can start by releasing all the cam locks there's a position marked on the jig so that you know when it's in the neutral position So now that all the cam locks are released, you can start removing the wing rib from the jig by gently lifting it. Sometimes you will get to an area where it does not want to come out what you can do is you can remove parts of the jig to enable it to be released more freely you can take out 25B you can take out 37C and 37D it's normally areas where it gets stuck by removing the screws In this case I have to remove 37A and 37B as well. <coughs> so once you have the wing rib out of the jig you can then remove any parts that are stuck. So there you have the wing rib removed from the wing rib jig. So this is a completed wing rib and as you can see the writing is on the outside of the gussets. The arrows are all facing forward and the right side of the wing rib is marked right and the left side of the wing rib is marked left with the arrows all facing forward and in this case this is a, a right hand side wing rib and wing rib gusset number seven is placed on the right hand side only and not on the left hand side of the wing rib. Once you've removed the wing rib from the wing rib jig you can replace the parts that you had to remove in order to release the wing rib, in this case 37A and 37B. Replace 37C. And 37D. and 25B can be screwed down back in place. Once the wing rib's out of the jig, you can then cut the excess wood off. There. Do the same for this one. 
these pieces of wood are used to make up um, some other small parts uh, maybe D or E or C or F you can use some of these off cuts to cut some of these parts and it's it's needed for the next wing rope so don't throw them away the final part of the operation is just sanding these uh, pieces of timber flush there you have it nice and flush The last part of the operation is cutting the excess off the back of the wing rib, taking the saw and lining it up with the WR8. You can just carefully cut that off. Now you need to inspect the wing rib to make sure that all the glue joints are secure and that all the timber used is of good quality and that you're satisfied with the quality of the wing rope.